Hi and welcome back to Create Up Digital Designs. In this video, I'm going to be going over how to create different text effects in your uh, t-shirt designs to be able to sell on Etsy, your website, uh, to be able to do print on demand through Printify or Printful, whichever your choice. So I'm going to go ahead, go ahead and go over a few ways that you can create unique or different uh, text effects that are already selling on Etsy. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is before I get started, um, I would like if you could please comment, like and subscribe and turn on your notification bells. Um, my goal is to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of October and I would really appreciate your support. OK, let's go ahead and get into the video. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm going to be creating and then I'm going to go ahead and show you how I did it. So this teacher life effect right here. And I realized that it looks better without the sticker, but if you wanted to add this here, you could. So I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and create this. And this is how it's gonna look on the shirt. And uh, to make it customized, you can put the teacher's name on here as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get started in showing you how I created this effect. So we're gonna go over here to this blank sheet right here. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go over to uh, apps and you wanna go ahead and type in Let's go down here, actually. I forgot the name, I apologize. It's called Tech Studio Maker. You're gonna go ahead and select this. This is a great resource for you to create different font effects in your t-shirt. So we're gonna go ahead and hit this one with the blue T. And depending on if you have a um, pro account or not, they all do have some free options. But right here, we went right here to the modern one and we selected that and we typed in it's already there teacher life and you have different font choices that you can go through to decide which one you want to use see here so there's a lot of different options here that you can go with so you select the one that you want Trying to see here. Okay, this is the one. I apologize, I forgot which one I used. But you can go through and figure out which ones that you want to use. And right here, so we have the teacher life. And so how we're gonna change this color, so you can offer in your listing on Etsy or wherever you're selling, you can change whatever color you want. But it's a lime green here, so we're gonna go ahead and hit add design once you figure out what font. And you have the text, and you wanna make it sure that it's short text, because this effect works better when you have one word or two words. And we're going to go over here with this color. And so when you do a select color, keep in mind that it's going to give you a lighter version of that color because it's starting out with lime. So let's say if we select the purple, it's going to give you more of a pink color. For the purple, it does give you like a lighter version of that. For the orange, it gives you a lighter version. So, but these are all nice colors. So you can choose and pick which color that you want to use for your listing or for your design. Um, and you can create different variations that they can choose from. For this one, we're gonna say that we're gonna do the pink one. And then now you have your teacher life effect. From what I've seen on Etsy, that simple sells. So we have this the uh, teacher life on here and to make it a little bit more customized, which is great on Etsy, you can have the teachers first, uh, their last name, because most students will call them by their uh, Miss Walker or by their last name. So they can maybe wear this shirt on casual days, um, on Fridays, usually teachers can wear t-shirts, so something like that. Or whenever they want to wear this shirt, if you uh, for teacher appreciation week or something like that, you can make this shirt. So what I did was I added uh, a font and what I went over was we went and we go over here to uh, add text, uh, add heading, and then I went over to handwriting. And that is where I found this one, Amsterdam one. And then you go ahead and type in 
the teacher's name and make it a little bit smaller and we can center it out and you put it towards the bottom and if you want to make it a little bit bigger you can see how it looks but what you're going to do is highlight it and hit group and that is how I just created a uh, added a t-shirt I went to elements and typed in t-shirts just so you can see how it looks on the t-shirt but once you complete your design uh, you can have go ahead and hit paste it back where it was and I already have it as the right sizing for print to full. Uh, so 3852 by 4398. And I believe this is for the Bella Canva shirt. Uh, so you know you want to go and make sure you sign and make sure you already have the your file the right size for your t-shirt. That way you don't have any issues with a resolution. You're gonna go ahead and hit download. PNG, make sure it's always a transparent background. That way you can put this on different color shirts. You're going to go ahead and select your page, hit done, and you can always increase the quality of this. This is the increasing the, the resolution. Of course, you have to have a pro account, and then you're going to go ahead and hit download. And that is how you go ahead and create this first design for teacher life, and you can do this for any, any type of niche. I do recommend if you're going to do popular niches like teachers, nurses, moms, um, that you always niche down, have different variations of your of the same designs, uh, maybe kindergarten teachers, first grade, high school teachers. Um, if you're doing nurses, you can do uh, nurses who work in the NICU or nurses that are in the uh, ER. So always niche down so that you can your listings can be found uh, more easily, and this will help you to increase your sales. So. That was how you go ahead and create this teacher life effect. The next one I'm going to show you is go how to create this shirt, which is the nurse. So I decided to go with the class of 2025. So obviously this is a uh, more like a varsity type text. So I decided to add that because there's a lot of people who are graduating from nurse school. So you can go ahead and, and create this type of design for people who are just graduating and they're about to be nurses. And I got this idea from Etsy. So Etsy is always a good resource, especially if you're going to be selling on there. And I went and typed in nurse shirt. And I went right here at the top. It says popular now. So this is basically me. Uh, recreating this type but making it a little bit different by adding the class of or you can have add someone's name underneath it to make it a little bit different but as you can see this is popular now so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how that I created this design so we are going to be using um, Canva AI for this uh, let's see I'm going to show you we're going to go over to the home you're gonna go over here where it says uh, Canva AI and you're gonna say create a text that says nurse put a comma for each uh, thing that you want to include make it all caps and we're gonna tell it what font the font that I got was from Etsy, I mean from Canva, Princetown. This is how it would look if you wanted to just have the the font like this without the cheetah print, you could use Princetown. And so uh, Princetown font gives it that varsity uh, college type look, which is very popular. Princetown font, cheetah print on the inside of the letters and you want to make sure you give it as many details as possible uh, but we're gonna say this for now make it all caps prints in town font cheetah print on the inside of the letters and uh, what else do we want to say you can say that you want to make the outline thin uh, you can tell it whatever you want but right now we're just gonna see what it gives us with this um, I did get my last one was the one I just showed you. So these are the different. So if you don't give it too many details, it'll give you random stuff. Like we don't want these right here. So we want this right here or this. So this is an option. This is an option. Uh, and then you can keep playing with it until it gives you the option. And then right here, you we can go to style. So you can say 
different type of styles, a 3D stock photo, uh, and then you can give it the size. For this one, this is fine because it's going on a shirt and we're going to remove the background anyways. But again, you want to give it as much details as possible. And so I'm going to um, go with the one that I already had. And so because it looks a lot better, um, but you can play with it and give it more detail. So this is the one that it originally gave me when I did the prompt. And when it gives it to you, it's going to say to open it up. Uh, let me just show you here. It's going to say you can either download it or you can hit edit. So you can hit download and then you can upload it into your design. And then you're going to open an editor and then you would just hit remove background um, by selecting it. And as you see, I just hit background remover and then that way you're going to bring it in. And then this is the one that I use because it was a better option. And like I said, if you want to find these varsity type fonts, it's Prince Town. And all I did was go at the top and I typed in varsity. And if you scroll down, they have graduate is what another one you want. You can use if you want to um, do like the uh, this varsity or school font. They have Prince Town, which is the one I had yearbook outline your book solid. Um, so if you wanted to just do the font as is, and um, you could try this as well, just to have a variety of the same type of designs, and then you can have class of 2025 or, or whatever, 26 under there, and um, or the person's name. So uh, anyways, let's get into it. So basically, once I got that from the Canva AI, I just, um, I have it there. I, um, we zoomed it in and then I went ahead and did the class 2025 as the yearbook solid. Um, so from the text I just showed you under varsity, you can go ahead and now that you have your uh, designs, we're going to go ahead and lock this, highlight group together, group. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Have to go ahead and delete all of this. Group it, copy it, and then you're gonna, I should have probably started on a blank, but here we go. And then now you can go ahead and download your design and upload it to uh, Printify or Printful and go ahead and connect your Etsy account. Um, if you are new to using these different platforms, I do have a beginner's guide to Printify on my channel, so you can go ahead and check that out, as well as I have a variety of videos on creating t-shirt designs. I have a beginner's guide and a, a guide for fall shirts, so you can go ahead and check that video out, out as well, um, but I also am um, going to show you one more effect for the shirts that you can create. So another way that you can get that varsity look on your shirts for any theme is you can go over to elements and you're going to go ahead and type in varsity font. Go ahead and hit graphics and you have these fonts right here that you can change the color. So whatever word again, these work better because you're doing it letter by letter for short words. So we would do this and then maybe we'll do a regular text for the for the name or whatever else you want to add. And so you're going to just find all of the letters that you want for nurse or teacher, whatever you're doing, or mom. And you're going to go ahead and line them out. And of course, as you can see here, you can change the color. Um, so you can go ahead and have different variations of your listings. And we go ahead and add the E here. Everything is lined up. You can tell by this pink line that's showing that they're lined up. You're going to highlight it all, hit group, and there you go. So you can go ahead and select it if you want to change the color. You want to do purple, purple, and then right here where it says change all, and now it was going to, it's going to change all of the letters for you at one time, so it's a lot easier. And you have your nurse or whatever design you're going to do. And we can go back over here and we can go ahead and, and copy this if you want to do the same thing under here. 
So this is another variation that you can offer for your t-shirts. Group it together and once again, you're gonna go ahead and download it as a PNG with a transparent background and upload it on Printify or Printful, wherever you're doing your print on demand and be able to connect to your Etsy store and sell or Shopify store. Um, so that was a different ways to create text effects in Canva to be able to show your t-shirts on your website or uh, on print Etsy. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please, once again, give it, give it a thumbs up, like, comment, let me know what type of content you want me to create. And please, uh, when I reach 300 subscribers, I will be giving away a free template to my subscribers and people who have commented. So please comment. And um, I appreciate you watching to the end. Uh, uh, have a great day.